Hello, I'm Shannon from the Dell MD Storage Engineering team, and I'm here to talk to you today about best practices for cabling Dell's MD3600F fiber channel products. Best practices are important to follow in order to ensure that your storage array works as expected. Today, I will share with you about important practices involving SFP modules, fiber optic cables, setup procedures, and handling instructions. Small form factor pluggable or SFP modules adapt electronic signals to optical cabling. Use only Dell supported 8 gigabit per second SFPs with the PowerVault MD3600 series storage arrays. Other generic SFPs are not supported and may not work. The SFP module housing has a guide key that is designed to prevent the incorrect insertion of an SFP module. Please only use minimal pressure when inserting an SFP into a controller. Forcing the SFP into a controller may damage the SFP module or the controller port. Feel free to install or remove the SFP while the controller is powered on. Fiber optic cables have delicate fiber inside them, so they will break and become unusable if they are pinched or cut. Please do not route the cable along a folding cable management arm. For devices such as Dell servers on slide rails, leave enough slack in the cable so as to prevent the cable from being pinched or sharply bent when extended or retracted. Route the cable away from places where it can be damaged by other devices in the rack cabinet. Also, do not over tighten the cable straps or pinch the cables. Do not place excess weight on the cable at the connection point. This may mean leaving space between the ethernet switches and fiber channel switches in a top of rack configuration. Please also ensure that the cable is well supported. To enable redundancy, two fiber channel host bus adapters, or HBAs, must be connected from the host system to the storage array. If redundancy is not required, only one fiber channel HBA needs to be connected to the storage array. And before connecting any cables between the host server and the storage array, physically label each port and connector. Remember to always follow proper power up and power down procedures when cycling power across the network. You must also ensure that critical network components are on separate power circuits. Move and store all components in the static protective packaging and place components on a grounded surface before taking them out. Grounded surface include static dissipating mats and grounded workstations. Always be properly grounded when touching a static sensitive component. In order to properly ground yourself, wear a wrist strap or heel strap that is made for this purpose. Handle hardware components by their edges. Do not touch solder joints, pins, or printed circuitry. And always remember to use field service tools. For a complete list of best practice procedures, you may find this documentation at support.dell.com manuals.